Chuck Todd, Brian Stelter had meltdowns this weekend. I think they're doubling down on stupid because they realize CNN and NBC are being called out on a regular basis by the president for the partisan hacks they are. So Chuck Todd, uh, who's just become hysterical. I didn't know Chuck Todd was into comedy, by the way. Um, I thought he pretended to be a journalist. Wrote this op-ed in The Atlantic suggesting that, the, <laughs> this is great, Denise, that the media, the media should start fighting back. Fighting back against what, conservatives? You've been fighting back for 100 years. That's what the media does. They're not into journalism. They're into attacking conservatives. I know, I was a victim of this, so please give me a break on the fighting back thing. But Brian Stelter, hysterically, of reliable sources, that's actually the name of his show. It should be unreliable sources. Tweet out, Chuck Todd is right. Let's recognize this anti-media campaign for what it is and respond accordingly. The days of don't engage are over. Oh, CNN engaged. And as Amber Athey, hat tip, at the Daily Caller put out, she put out a list today, I encourage you to look this story up at the Daily Caller, of all the CNN missteps over the last year, anti-Trump stories that turned out to be complete scams. Now, the list goes on. Denise said to me before the show, she goes, Dan, I'm not kidding, by the way. Like I said, the outtakes sometimes funny. We were laughing. She goes, I tried to scroll to the, through this to make it fit in the show. She goes, I can't because it takes two minutes and we don't have that kind of time. This is just a short list of all the scams CNN tried to pull on you with their litany of fake news headlines and stories. So please give us all a break. Spare us, CNN.